This house fire Wednesday morning between Lago Vista and Leander was caused by a space heater. Two residents were hurt and hospitalized, according to Travis County ESD Battalion Chief Chris Sukup. When using space heaters in your home, you need to make sure you're using them smart, diligently. No propane space heaters need to be inside, and if they are, you need to run, if you can't help it, then you need to run the tube outside and just have the heating element, but monitor them. Make sure they're turning off, turning on, because that's the number one cause of fires in the winters. These firefighters were also lumberjacks. They cleared off roadways Wednesday after ice-covered trees fell over. A kayak paddle, not a chainsaw, is how Darren McDaniel took the weight off his trees. <laughs> I'm not making much headway. Several trees in McDaniel's Cedar Park neighborhood didn't make it. Many continue to fall throughout the morning. It hit about 3 a.m. and you could hear the, you could hear the trees starting to collapse and and the uh, it started off as kind of a solid rain, uh, but you can see it's turned to ice quickly. Some trees were uprooted, others split at the trunk or had limbs break off under the weight of the ice. Sky Fox drone shows how the ice storm coated the tree canopy all across Williamson County. We were able to get close to the breaks at the top. And you can see how some leaned over the roadways, causing a low-hanging hazard for drivers. The scene now for some is similar to the small freeze just before the big winter storm in 2021. I think ice is the worst, the worst of it, and I don't think we dodged a bullet at all. I think we, we got more than I was expecting, so that's pretty bad. An example of the unexpected includes what happened to this porch screen. A clear view after a full thaw may have to wait until Friday.